How's it going everyone? Manus Bada here, bringing you a new video in the Softwing series. Now, this is going to be a much shorter one. This is literally just going to be explaining a few details I've come across in the last week or so of playing. And I thought I'd share with all of you. It's the little things I didn't actually pick up at first, and it's made one hell of an impact on the game. So I'd rather share with you guys so everyone can benefit from this. So now, the first thing I figured out was the issue that I had with the servers. So I kept on having server load issues, where because I'd use my servers for digital, digital distribution. And what happened is, my one server just can't take it. So now, how to fix this? It's actually such a simple fix that I just didn't realize before. So you open up your build tab, and you click on wire mode. Now, use this to connect your servers. There we go. So you click on wire mode, and you literally just click on wire on server, and click on your next server. These servers are now linked. So, um, instead of having two separate servers, you now have one server which doubles your load. And is a lot more effective. Really, really simple stuff. But this will prevent you from having server overloads and prevent your digital distribution from stopping. So now that's servers. That first thing, like I said, quick one minute intro, but it can make such a difference with your company. Secondly, a little thing that you must keep in mind with is noise overlay. So your, um, your staff, uh, your programmer, designers, your art, artists, all of that, so I'm not, not counting your cleaning staff, your maintenance. I'm talking about your actual um, your, your workers, okay, that are working in your software, um, they are negatively affected by too much noise in the room. If there is too much noise, they then produce their, they, they do their work slower, much, much slower. So now how you can check how much noise you're producing is, again, in the build tab, or even outside the build tab, but it's easy to fix in the build tab, is you just click on the noise overlay. Now, it's a bit hectic when you turn on for the first time with just circles radi radiating everywhere. But it actually makes complete sense. So how it works is every object you have in your room produces a certain amount of noise. Okay? So a heater produces, as you can see, there's ready noise around it. And when you highlight a room, for instance, this room where my marketer, where my marketing happens and my servers are, you'll see on the floor um, where with uh, different colors. Red being the most amount of noise and green being the least amount of noise. Now, as you can see, where my person is sitting, it's green. So they're only getting about 36 decibels of noise, which is decent. They can cope with that, okay? But if I were to put them right underneath the fan by 72 decibels, they would be unhappy. Green, good. Red, bad. Simple, okay? So now, one way I've mitigated this, um, I wasn't actually using the noise tab. I didn't think to look at it, and now I'm actually looking at it, and it's easier to manage your space when taking note of this noise tab. Are the cubicle walls. So as I said, we went from 30, around 36 decibels. As soon as I started removing the cubicle walls, it jumped up to 59. And I think if I drop this one as well, it'll get even worse. To, yeah, okay, still 59, 60 decibels. So, as you can see, the cubicle walls, again, it's not expensive. Each cubicle wall is, if I can find it now, $75. Really, it does not cost you anything, okay? But... The benefit it gives you is massive by reducing the amount of noise that's created. And for instance, another thing is with the heater, okay? As you can see, the heater around in front of us is producing about 80 decibels of noise, which is fairly loud. Let me get rid of it and rather replace it with a radiator. It's a bit more expensive um, and the upkeep's a bit more, but that being said, the noise is lower, okay? The problem is at the moment I've got the servers operating here. So again, all I'm going to do is use the cubicle walls and like there you go. Use the cubicle walls and it, comp it drops it significantly. So we're sitting at what 59 before this. I oh, sorry, 36, 35, and we'll drop it now down to 33. So it's a slight change, um, but again, it's all these little things that add up. So keep note of these. So servers make a lot of noise. Um, things like fans make a lot of noise. Um, generally, your like open spaces, like where the food is, the water is, um, that generates a lot of noise. Um, also, uh, as, if you look here, I've only got 30 decibels of noise, and this room is pretty good off because I've got the um, radiator there again and a fan. What I used to do was just throw in air cons, okay? AC units, I thought nothing about it, okay? Drop it in, 
it absolutely destroys the sound quality in this room. I've tried putting cubicle walls around it, it still barely does anything. So if we look here, I'm sitting with 58 decibels of noise here. Even covering this thing in um, cubicle walls doesn't make enough of a difference. So be very careful when dropping in AC units. I'd only suggest for server rooms or where people aren't actually working. Just because the noise it produces is incredible. Um, like I said, common rooms, there's a lot of noise here. So don't, it's, it's logical. Don't put workspace environments in the same space as common room environment. I know I've done it here because there was a smaller room and I've added on from it. And I've moved on since then. I should actually move the food and water to this room, come to think of it. Um, but anyway, so don't, so try and separate your spaces as much as possible. Because again, it's a really simple thing is having this, uh, having the noise at a low level, but it really does increase the effectiveness of your staff that are inside of it. So as again, easy. Build mode, click on the noise tab and these red ink circles show you where the noise is coming from. And mitigate this noise by, uh, look, unfortunately things like computers, they do make noise. And if I'm not mistaken, better quality computers make less noise as you go along. Yeah, they make slightly less noise as you go along. Um, and also look, make your place actually look better. Um, but anyway, so you, you're not going to have zero decibels, right? Accept it. But so long as you're in the green, bordering on yellow, your people will be happy to work. So little thing, keep it, keep note of it and it really will make a difference in your company. So I hope this little tutorial helped everyone, um, with working out how to use servers and working out how to use, um, the noise tab. Two little things, they're right there, bottom of your screen. They've always been there, you've probably never clicked on them before. And now you know. Hopefully it benefits your company and helps you get, get it off the ground a little bit easier. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. And please do like and subscribe for more tips and tricks on Software Inc. As well as, um, pretty much, you can watch me boarding my own company. So again, thanks so much and I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.